attention. Women, women love, they actually need attention. They're attention seekers. This is why, you know, you, you see them on Facebook or Instagram in the goddamn bathroom, you know, with their duck face and say, feel cute. Who gives a fuck, honestly? But you see it. All these thirsty dudes, oh my God, you're so hot. They, they don't care about you guys at all. They don't. They just like the likes. It's a dopamine hit. We're all creatures of a dopamine hit. When our text messages go off, the ding, boom, hit. When our DM kind of goes off, boom, hit. It's all a dopamine hit. This is one of the reasons why social media is so addicting is because it hits those receptors. Um, so women inherently have always sought to seek attention. Now this isn't a bad thing. This is women seek attention, men seek sex. The way it's supposed to work and the way it worked in our, you know, grandfather days before all this shit is a man would give the woman his attention, his time, his effort. She would give him sex. Okay. Then social media comes on into it and she can get all of the validation, all the attention she wants without giving up sex. So all of you thirsty fucks out there who are liking, hearting, DMing, girls you know, girls you don't know, what you're actually doing is giving her all of this free dopamine hit and she doesn't have to give you sex. This is how the world's gotten completely backwards. This is how men over the last, say, 30 to 40 years, I'm sorry, well, the feminist movement fucked a lot of this up, but now I'm talking about more about the social, social media, start with MySpace, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all this shit now. More and more women can get validation, they can get free attention, and they don't have to give up sex at all. So what happens is men become more and more invisible. You're just a number, you're just a DM, you're just a face on the screen. There's nothing inherently. So how do you fix this? The most powerful weapon you have as a man is your attention. That's the only weapon you have for women. So if you're constantly hitting up women and liking their shit, and then there's another guy who doesn't do that, who do you think she's going to be more looking at? Like, how come, how come this guy doesn't like any of my shit? How come he's not giving me attention? There must be something about him. There's something mysterious about him. I want to know more. It fucking works. The girls I talk to, I don't like any of their shit. Once in a blue moon, there's one girl. It's about two or three weeks ago. I like the picture because she posted her and her dog. I hit like, immediately messaged me. All the other pictures I post, you post, why did you like this one? Like, I like your dog. Like, I like your dog. Completely pissed her off, but made her start thinking like, okay, I'm just not going to be that guy who's just going to give free validation. When you're getting all of this free validation from dudes that aren't even blowing your back out. So you have to understand that. Attention is your biggest currency. It is your most powerful weapon. If you keep giving it away, it's worth nothing. It's like water. Everybody has water on tap. Everybody can get water wherever they want. If you're in a fucking desert though, and you're the only glass of water, everybody wants to find you, everybody. So you gotta remember, that's all you have. You can be incredibly good looking, rich, powerful, all that shit. But if you just keep giving out your attention, you become more and more worthless. You become more and more like everybody else. Now on the flip side to that, you need to create attention on yourself. Okay. I post pictures, but I have, you know, I, I write a lot. I try to educate guys and girls on things that I write. I'm doing videos. If you are creating attention on yourself, positive attention, and sometimes negative, then what happens? You're up here, women are gonna start trying to get your attention. So it's both ways. 
You want to be up here being the content, creating the content, being the person that they're like, okay, th this guy has a ton of likes from all these beautiful women. How do I get his attention? Oh my God, I've never done this. You know how many fucking times girls have never reached out? You're very good looking, not the best looking guy. I just have a lot of attention on me. And so they want to know a little bit more. So you have to create attention. Attention is the new currency for men out there. So back to Nate's thing is he was saying, well, I notice when I ignore or I'm not so quick to respond to a woman that she wants me more. Correct. Because you are limiting your attention to her. So if you have a girl that you really like and you're giving her all the attention, she's going to do the same thing. She's like, eh, I already got this guy. He's already way into me. This is creepy. You know, so you want to think about that. Now, if you have a girl you sort of like, you're like, eh, I don't know about, and you're not really giving her a lot of attention, she's going to blow your ass up. She's just trying to fucking get that stuff. So you really want to think about that as well. It is your attention. That is the only thing you have. It's not your money. It's not your looks. It's not your status. It's none of that. It's your attention. If a woman truly wants to get your attention, she'll reach out. You don't need to reach out to her. And then another, another question that came up kind of to piggyback on Nate, and this was uh, probably a week or two ago, I was at a bar just kind of hanging out, having some food, and I was talking to two guys next to me. One was kind of looked a lot like me, and he was balder, you know, I had a, he had a beard, um, actually a little bit more built than me, um, really solid guy. He was talking about SMP. He was bald, bald. I obviously have the procedure and I was talking about what I do. He goes, Jesus, that's freaking awesome. I'm like, I know I'm a genius. And he wants to get it done. The other guy had a full head of hair. They're a friend, a little bit on the chubby side. Kind of his clothes were a little eh, fucked up. You know what I mean? But what I noticed with him is the other guy had massive confidence about him. He didn't wear the best clothes, but he had massive confidence. I literally watched him go up to a girl. She was probably a six or a seven. Um, she wasn't gorgeous, but she wasn't ugly at all. Boom, starts talking to her. I, I, I go to the buddy, I'm like, does he know her? He goes, no, he does this all the time. He, he just picks up girls. God bless him. He had confidence. So this is what I want to talk about now is developing confidence. It's almost like developing an unnatural superpower about yourself. If you can be confident in your body, again, he was a little bit overweight. He didn't give a fuck. He didn't wear the best clothes. His beard was a little shaggy. You, you know what I mean? That typical guy. He didn't care about any of that. And if he doesn't care about it and he doesn't bring it up, she won't. So a lot of guys self detonate themselves and they will kind of start thinking, well, I'm not that attractive or I'm not that built or I don't wear the best clothes. And what they kind of do is this almost this image that they get, this energy that they get that women can feel like this guy isn't confident and it's the way he talks, the way he brings himself his energy to her and they can pick up on that and if you're not that confident or have that feeling of it it kind of feels like you're hiding something to her it, her walls go up she feels almost threatened in a way there's a weakness about you so i went to this guy after he got he got the girl's number um he actually i'm going to give you a, a little tip that he told me it was fucking amazing. I never thought about this. He's like, no, I never get their number because I don't know if it's fake. I'm like, all right, so how do you contact me? He goes, I asked them for their Instagram profile. I start thinking, I'm like, wow. He goes, yeah, because they can't lie about that. And who cares? I'm one of thousands and they just want more followers. So now at least I have her on my Instagram. And then I made a pretty good impression on her. So when I do DM her, I'll probably get a response back. It's like, wow, I never thought about that. So I've actually, I'm, I started doing that as well. It, it seems to be less threatening to a girl. Oh, okay, you want my Instagram? Cool, not a big deal. You can DM them that way and then start the conversation and start that way. So 
if you're having problems getting phone numbers, get their, get their Instagram or get their Facebook or whatever, but get it that way. It's way less threatening. So Jim, if you're watching this, that was a really good tip. I never even thought about that. Uh, so thank you. Uh, another tip he said, um, and we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more, but he says, never DM them, give them a voice clip because when you give the voice clip, they're more apt to actually open it and you know they opened it. On the DM, they can see it, they can pull it down and, and you still don't know they read it. But on a voice clip, they have to open it so you know they got it. And it's a little bit different. So a guy's like, she's like, well, I remember this guy, what, what's he want? Oh my God, she has to fucking open it because her, her nature is so inquisitive. She's gonna open it. He says something like, hey, I'm really glad. He says, hey, I'm really glad you got the opportunity to meet me. It was all about him, it's fucking genius. Um, I'd like to invite you uh, to see me again. Let me know when you're free. Fucking genius. He's like, it works most of the time. But he said the best part of it is, you know if she doesn't respond, she's really not interested, so you don't have to keep blowing her up. It's, it's done. I'm, I'm fucking implementing that shit right now. Um, but yeah, so we talked a little bit, Nate asked about attention, and attention's a big thing. But the biggest thing is confidence. If you don't have confidence in what you do, this just, it's not just a dating, it's just confidence in life. You're, you're at a detriment to everybody. You're at a detriment to yourself. So you gotta work on confidence. Now, how do you do that? Obviously, if you are a little bit overweight, we talk about this all the time, get into the gym, lose that fat, get some muscle put on you. That's immediately gonna help with your confidence. You're gonna feel better, your clothes are gonna look better. Another easy one is, and I don't understand why guys don't, get your teeth whitened. Something as simple, it's cheap. Get that nice smile. Women and guys, a nice healthy smile kind of portrays that you take care of yourself, you're clean, uh, you have a beautiful, obviously you have a beautiful smile. Teeth whitening is a very easy way to help boost your confidence. Again, if you're bald, I'm gonna plug my other company. Scalp micropigmentation is probably the best option for you. It's gonna make you look a lot younger. It's gonna make you feel a lot better. The more you fail, the, the faster you learn and the more confident you become. So you can get out there if you're trying to date, man, talk to a couple girls. If you get shot down, who gives a shit? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. But just get out there and practice what you're not confident in doing and you'll become more confident.